hi this is the phoenix back to the another energy update for the sign of pisces just keep in mind these are general readings they're not going to resonate for all of you but for the ones that it does resonate for please like share comment and subscribe to my channel for those of you interested in a personal reading with me all the information is in the description box below this is going to be for the sun moon rising and venus signs of pisces so let's jump into this reading and see what is coming true for you guys today. Alright, so communication is definitely coming in for you. It's going to be fast, it's going to be quick. About a romantic connection, somebody finds you very romantically attractive. And they're on their way to tell you that. They want to have some type of connection with you. Yeah, it's going to be a new beginning. It's going to be something, you're, you're going to meet this person new. You're going to have some problems with it though. There are going to be a few challenges before this relationship can get off the ground. But I feel like it's coming from your end. Because you're going to be looking at this person and this relationship very carefully. Alright, so let's see what's happening here. Yes, it is somebody new that you're about to meet. This person is definitely single or they just got out of a marriage. This person could be divorced. But you're going to be obsessing over the fact that this person may not be ready for a connection or a relationship. Could be a Capricorn you're dealing with or you could have it in your chart. But this person is definitely ready for a new beginning. <coughs> they see you as someone they can grow with. They see you as someone that is very charming someone that they can definitely have some type of connection with because they see you as wife material or husband material yeah but you're not going to want to have a relationship with them because you're going to say that you're not interested in having anything with anyone and they're still probably caught up on their ex i don't think that is the case to this person this person was single while they were in the relationship with this person and they were just waiting for things to end with this individual yeah but you feel like the ending was not an ending or you're going to feel that way you're going to be very insecure when you meet this person you're going to even walk away from them because it will not be your idea of a relationship that you want this person could be a pisces or this could be you just being alone being by yourself not looking for a relationship not wanting a relationship just reflecting on the past and then this fire sign may show up, Aries, Leo, or Sag. Now you would feel like they're lying to you, they're manipulating you, they're not into you really. You're going to feel that way. But they are actually going to show you that they do want a connection with you. They're going to reciprocate you. You're going to feel like they're all about third parties. You're going to have a lot of doubts about this person. You're going to have a lot of fears about this person. Because I think there is something in you that definitely needs to be fixed. But you're going to have a decision to make. Whether you accept this person and this relationship or you reject it. The choice is going to be yours at the end of the day. It's going to cause you a lot of mental anguish and anxiety. But it's like you're afraid. You're really afraid of trusting this person. It could be a Sagittarius for some of you. But this person really is coming in have already um, healed from their past relationship, have already done the work and is now balanced and stable <coughs> in their own approach, sorry, to you. But you're not going to trust it. Yeah. You're going to see this person as being very confused. You're going to see this person as having multiple options. 
and feeling like they are a player. So you're not going to want to invest in the connection. You're not going to even give it a second thought. Spirit is saying you should. Yeah. This person has already gone through the grinder. This person has already known what it is to be in a loveless relationship. This person has already known what it means to lose everything. And it is a soulmate to you. So this person is going to reciprocate the love that you will give to them. They will give it to you. So don't be so afraid. Because they're on their way to you to offer a new romance, to offer you love, to offer you a relationship. So you may say that this person is not for you. They are. You're going to ignore this person. You're going to definitely not want to be in a relationship with them. But this is the relationship destined for you. And it is happening currently or it will be happening very soon. So... Someone is definitely coming into you. You're not going to think that they're your ideal person, but they are. They may differ from your usual type, but they are ready to reciprocate a relationship, a loving connection. Something that you can build with, grow with. Yeah. A new beginning when it comes to love. They definitely do want that with you. But it's up to you to make the, de the decision to let them come in yeah because you're going to say that this person cannot make you happy the difficulties that they may be facing you might think it is too much to incorporate you into it actually it's not actually this person will give you this new beginning in love because they know what it is to not be loved by another person but you have to decide what actions you're going to take and you have to decide what decision you want to make when it comes to this individual and this relationship yeah because they will have deep romantic feelings for you they may hide it well but they have had feelings for you for a while but you have to make the decision do i want this relationship or don't i you are the one that have to cut this out or to keep it the choice will be yours at the end of the day but spirit is advising you to open up to this new possibility because you're still thinking about the past you're still thinking about past connections for some of you, you are the one that just ended a marriage or a long-term commitment. Yeah. And you're quite egotistical at this point in time. You're quite hateful. You're in your head a lot. And you're thinking that you're not ready for this connection. But this person will stick around, I'm feeling. This person will stick around. They may not be your usual type, but they are the right one for you. Yeah. There will be a lot of growth in this relationship. It will be, it will move from a friendship for some of you to a relationship very quickly. Some of you are going to meet this person and it's going to be an instant attraction. Yeah. Instant attraction. This person is going to want to know everything about you in a day, in one date. But they will bring you a lot of happiness. They will help you heal from the broken past that you may have. They're going to... They know what it is like to be in a relationship and not be loved. I'm hearing that over and over again. Could be a Scorpio you're dealing with or this could be you. You know you have a lot of love to give but you're afraid to give it. And that is what is holding you back from having a new beginning with this individual. Could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn you're dealing with but you feel like this person could not or will not give you the type of relationship or commitment that you want. Give it a chance. They may surprise you. All right, Spirit, what is the best advice to my Pisces in this specific connection? What is the best advice to my Pisces in this specific connection? What is the best advice to my Pisces in this specific connection? Hmm. It is a divine plan that you are awakening at this point in time. Energetic upgrade, a new way of being, integration. So it is time for you to open yourself up to a new way of being. Set healthier boundaries for yourself and make sure that you let yourself be loved as well as love someone truly. 
all right so this is what i have for you guys i hope it does help have a good one